Hola amigos, yo soy Javi y esto es Virtual Visión VR. Como siempre, espero que estéis bien y si no, mucha fuerza para todos. Hoy vamos a asistir a la primera proyección del planetario de Home Star Special Edition. Está chulísimo. Os recomiendo que apaguéis todas las luces, os relajéis, porque hoy vais a ver las estrellas de manera diferente. Comentaros que con las gafas, claro, la experiencia es muy muy diferente, porque tú vas mirando para todos los lados y así como vas mirando, pues vas viendo todo, claro, en 360. Pero aún así, en 2D está chulísimo. La vais a disfrutar. Recordad, está totalmente en inglés, pero es un inglés muy facilito. Y lo vais a pillar perfectamente. Cuento unas historias fascinantes. Así que, sin más dilación, ¡adelante vídeo! Bueno amigos, estamos aquí en la parte del planetario, como veis es un planetario muy muy grande y nada, aquí ahora os voy a explicar un poquito rápido las opciones, veis que aquí pone Select Program, Full Version y Classic, vamos a ir a la Classic, Classic es como, como esto, es un semicírculo y vamos a parecer que estamos bueno, en un planetario viendo, viendo la filmación, después aquí tenéis los distintos vídeos, los vamos a ver todos y aquí tenemos el narrador que puede ser en japonés hombre, japonés en mujer y en inglés, lo vamos a poner en inglés, vale chicos es un inglés muy facilote habla muy tranquilo y lo vamos a disfrutar mogollón así que vamos a empezar con el classic y el, y el first planetarium experience Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Homestar. We will show you which stars you can view this season. The stars in the sky change with the seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Which is your favorite night sky? Before we start, do you know why the stars change with the seasons? Just like the sun, Stars rise in the east and set in the west. This happens because the Earth rotates on a north-south axis, like a spinning top. That is why we see stars move the way they do, because we're viewing them from the Earth. So, why do the stars we see change seasonally, even if we're viewing them at the same time of day? The secret to that is the Earth spinning on that north-south axis as it travels around the Sun, taking one year to do so. We call this an orbit. When the Sun shines on one part of the Earth, that part is in daytime and the other part is in nighttime. The direction that we can see at night changes depending on the relative locations of the Sun and the Earth. That is why the stars at night vary each season. So, why don't we take a walk through a starry sky at night? Admiring stars that have shone for tens of thousands of years can be awe-inspiring. This is the sky in spring. The chill of winter has eased and the stars shine gently above. For a tour around the spring sky, we'll start from the large ladle formation that shines brightly in the north. This is, as you may have recognized, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is part of the constellation Ursa Major. Ursa Major has the shape of a large bear in the northern part of the sky. Don't you think there is something kind of different about this bear? That's right. This one has a long tail. The tails of real bears are fairly short. 
Some stories say that this bear became a constellation when God swung her by her tail and threw her into the sky. Her tail was then stretched out in the process. Pretty mean move by God, huh? If you follow this side of the Big Dipper, you can easily find Polaris, or the North Star. This is a special star that does not seem to move, but instead stays stationary as the other stars move around it. The North Star has made quite an impression throughout history. Let's follow the ladle around. This is Arcturus, of the Boetes constellation. This constellation is an ox driver accompanied by a hound, protecting his cow from a bear. If we follow this line, we can see a bright white star. This is Spica of the Virgo constellation. Virgo is said to be a form of Demeter, the ancient goddess of agriculture. It is actually the second largest constellation. Demeter must have been an important lady. The line that we can draw from the Big Dipper between Arcturus and Spica creates what is called the Spring Triangle. It's easy to find, so look up and see if you can spot it. As time passes, the main characters of the night sky change as the summer constellations climb the sky from the east. The Milky Way is a particularly beautiful feature of the summer night sky. It is easy to lose yourself in its wonder. But why do you think all of those stars are clustered together in a band? It's because the solar system, which our planet is a part of, lies at the end of a large cluster of stars called a galaxy. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is shaped like a disk, but we are looking at it horizontally, which is why it appears like a band. And this is why we can see so many of its stars. The large triangle that overlaps the Milky Way is called the Summer Triangle. It connects the three stars, Cygnus's Deneb, Lyra's Vega, and Aquila's Altair. Let's start our summer tour with these three. Vega and Altair are called the Weaving Princess and the Cowherder in Japan. It is an ancient tale of two lovers who can only meet once a year on the festival of Tanabata. It is custom on the festival day to write down a wish and hang it from a bamboo tree. What would you make a Tanabata wish for? Cygnus is also known as the Northern Cross. Sailors embarking on great sea voyages would pray to it in the past. There is another famous constellation just further south. It is a man with half the body of a horse. You guessed it, Sagittarius. This heroic constellation is depicted pulling a bow. In fact, there is a famous cluster of stars within Sagittarius. It is the South Dipper. The name is as famous as the Big Dipper in some regions, even becoming part of legend. And here is Scorpius, another well-known constellation we can see its large S-shaped poisonous tail and its claws here. Within Scorpius is a bright red star called Antares. Its name has the curious meaning of rival to Mars. Antares is as red as the planet Mars and these two appear adjacent to each other every few years. It looks as though they're competing to see who is redder. Next time that happens, why don't you look up and be the judge? Oh, is that the time? I'd completely forgotten myself. Well, the stories of the stars change with the seasons. Take another walk among the stars 
and enjoy those changes. I hope to see you again soon. Bueno amigos, ¿qué os ha parecido? La verdad es que está increíble. Parece tal cual que estés en un planetario. Y bueno, este vídeo ya se acabó. Como siempre, si os ha gustado, darle a me gusta y compartirlo a tope. Y si no estáis suscritos, ¿a qué esperáis? ¡Suscribiros! Un abrazo fuerte y mucha fuerza para todos.